Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday. Three hours left to go in the trading day. And as we speak, we got a little trade worries out there. We got the market going to negative territory. Say goodbye potentially to 3,100 in the S&P. Right now, S&P is negative by 17 points, trading at 3,101. Dow Jones off 184, trading 27,751. NASDAQ negative by 58 points, trading at 85.12. We get the gold contract, negative two bucks at 14.72. Quite a day to the upside on oil. We got inventory numbers this morning. You have oil up almost $2 at 57.18. Notes and bonds, we're getting some higher price and lower yield. The 10 year up 10 ticks, 129.24. The 30 year up 28 ticks at 160.07. And the dollar index up 105 ticks at 97.962. We'll start things off, and man, oh man, when you see these charts, I was pulling it up ahead of time, getting ready, and there is your sell-off. And the S&Ps, we just dropped from about 31.15 in a heartbeat to 31.01. You actually saw that extend to 3,096 initially. Jumping over to the NASDAQ 100, you're going to see the drop on all of them just in the last 10 minutes since about 12.45. You were up here early in the session at 11 a.m. of 83.46. We're now a solid, what is that? 66 NASDAQ 100 points, trading at 82.81 right now. Dow 30, sell-off as well. We were up there right before the sell-off at about 12.30 at 80, excuse me, 27,830. We flashed down to about 27,700. Crude oil, I talked about the $2 run to the upside. We got inventory numbers at about 10.30. That propelled it even higher. Early this morning, we had a 54 handle on crude at 3 a.m. We just got a high of $57.36. Quite a run. We're right under that level at 56.93 right now. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, and this is, we'll pull over the story because that's what's going to be driving the rest of the day. Equities extend their slump after a report that Washington and Beijing are unlikely to reach a trade deal this year. Telecom and automaker shares led losses as after a Reuters report that the pact may be delayed. There you go, folks. Other news out there, drilling this down in terms of earnings season. How about Target? Where are we now? 13% almost to the upside on their earnings, and Lowe's beating now up about 4%. Stay tuned, folks. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. We'll be right back.